So in this video we will be discussing the patient dentist and chair positions which is ergonomics. So ergonomics is basically formed by two words ergo which means work and nomos which means natural laws or systems. So ergonomics is a science which is applied to design the products and procedures for maximum efficiency and safety. Now there are various improper postures that the dentists take while practicing in their clinics like unnecessary curvature of the spinal column or forward bending even there is shrugging of the shoulders which the dentists do while practicing dentistry or keeping the neck in flexion for a longer duration of time or side bending to left side or right side or even the excessive twisting now all these improper postures that the dentists take they put excessive pressure on the nerves and blood vessels and which further decrease the circulation cause excessive strain on the muscles and wear and tear of the joint structures which further result in lower back disorders which may convert into chronic lower back pain and neck and shoulder pain too so now we'll understand that what are the proper positions of the dentist the patient and the chair positions Now the dentist should try to maintain an erect posture while working you know and so for this you should use an adjustable chair with a proper lumbar thoracic and arm support to help the dentist maintain a good posture while working. Now the dentist's own chair should be very sturdy and well balanced to prevent the tipping or gliding away from the dental chair and even the seat should be well padded with the smooth cushion. The back of the dentist should be in constantly in contact with the backrest of the stool. The legs and the shoulders should be relaxed and thighs should be parallel to the floor. Now the dentist should try to work close to his body. Position the dentist's own chair close to that of the patient and position the instrument tray close to the chair so that the dentist does not have to overextend himself to reach the patient or the instruments and to minimize the forward bending or excessive leaning over the patient. Now the dentist should minimize excessive wrist and uh, finger movements you know while working and he should try to alternate the work position between sitting standing and side of the patient now this will allow the muscles of the dentist to get relaxed and allow each side of the body to share the stress rather than causing trauma to the overused side the dentist should also you know try to adjust the height of his own chair and the patient's chair to a comfortable level so as to avoid excessive bending and hence avoid neck and back problems he should uh, also practice uh, periodic stretching while working throughout the day the hands should be given due rest uh, while uh, working, uh, rest should be given frequently and to relieve the neck stiffness, head rotation should be tried you know, within the comfort zone of the dentist and relaxing of the shoulders in between is also important. Now eyes of the dentist, they also get fatigued, you know, focusing on work for longer periods of time which results in eye strain. So look up from the work and try to focus. Now lighting of the operating field is another important aspect. 
the operatory light should be positioned at an arm's length from the operator. If the light is closer than this, then it will increase the patient discomfort from heat production and it creates hindrance to the movement of operator's hands near the operating field. Now, the lower positions of the light are used for the maxillary arch or while using the indirect vision and higher position of the light is used for mandibular arc and direct vision. Patient positioning. Now, the most common patient position which is used is almost supine or reclined at an angle of 45 degree recommended for the sit-down dentistry, you know. And the patient's chin and the ankles should be at the same level because if the patient's legs are higher than the head for longer periods of time, it will result in postural hypotension. Now, once the patient is seated on the chair, the headrest or the neckrest cushion is positioned in such a way so as to support the head and elevate the chin slightly from the chest to minimize the neck muscle strain and facilitate swallowing so that the patient does not feel any discomfort while he is being operated. So uh, now we'll be discussing the various operating positions of the dentist. So there are 12 different uh, operating positions which the dentist can take from 1 o'clock to 12 o'clock position. 12 o'clock is the direct rear position, 6 o'clock is the direct front position, 3 o'clock is on the left side of the patient and 9 o'clock is on the right side of the patient. 1 and 2 o'clock are the left rear, 4 and 5 o'clock are left front, 7 and 8 are right front and 10 and 11 are the right rear position. So 7, 9, 10, 11 o'clock are for the right-handed dentist and uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 o'clock positions are for the left-handed dentist. Now direct rear and direct front positions are used for certain areas of mouth by both right and left-handed dentists. Now the right or left rear positions that is 10 and 11 o'clock and 1 and 2 o'clock. This is the position of choice for most operating procedures and the position of the operator is behind and slightly to the right or left of the patient. Now right or left position that is 9 o'clock or 3 o'clock position. It is basically used for facial surfaces of the mandibular teeth, maxillary, right or left posterior teeth and also for the occlusal surfaces of the mandibular right or left posterior teeth then is the direct rear position that is the 12 o'clock position now this position is mostly used while operating on the lingual surfaces of the mandibular anterior teeth now the front positions that is 8 7 or 4 and 5 o'clock positions they are basically used for um, mandibular mandibular anterior teeth mandibular posterior teeth and maxillary anterior teeth so these are all the positions which are used by the dentist while operating on the patient so if you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified each time i upload a video